guys, what's up? It's Mike. So the other day, my girlfriend's on YouTube looking up old beer commercials. One thing leads to another and she's like, we should get a bullfrog as a pet. And I'm like, dude, we're not getting a bullfrog as a pet. And she goes, actually, I was just kind of half kidding on that one. And I was like, nope, it's already started. We can't get a bullfrog because bullfrogs are wild animals. Ever since bullfrogs were introduced to the west coast of America in the late 19th century, they've been linked to the total extinction of many other frog species. I don't know what they're doing, but they came and the other frogs are gone now. That's frightening. These frogs are known carriers of a super fungus that causes chytrodiamycosis. Like if our frog ribbits in another frog's face, we could just destroy thousands of frogs. I'd much rather have like an underachieving kid or something. Pet Watch, a group that advises on the suitability of certain species as pets, actually voted bullfrogs as worst choice pet. People voted. You remember how we got that one toothpaste because you heard that nine out of 10 dentists recommend it? Well, this is like the opposite of that. Bullfrogs croak at over 80 decibels. That's the equivalent of like a vacuum cleaner and heavy city traffic, garbage disposal, your uncle's snoring when he falls asleep on the couch, your snoring. And then when our little bullfrog is searching through Tinder looking for a hookup, it can croak up to constantly times per minute. According to Harvard, which is like a super smart building, prolonged exposure to over 85 decibels or more can cause permanent hearing damage. So I'll ask you again, do you really want a bullfrog? Yes, I really want a bullfrog. What? Yes, I really want a bullfrog. What are you saying right? Okay, I see what you're doing. I see it. And that's why we can't get a bullfrog. 